Hey, yeah, it's Michelle from JDB. I'm getting back to you with the winners of our contest that I put up uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, the closing date was the 30th of October, but a lot of you will know that we've had a lot of things going on with the family since then, so it's taken me a little while to get back to it. Uh, firstly, though, I've been accused of witchcraft by Shell Cook, who I told you about. She's the author of the books after whom my Out of Orbit threads are named. And... Um, yeah, she says that apparently the way that I pack my threads is completely impossible and she doesn't know how I do it and I've been accused of witchcraft. So I'm going to demonstrate to you. So I have a bunch of threads, bag. This is actually one of the See You Later packs, so it's got the um, the label already on the bag. So you get the bag open. It's not exactly hard, honestly, Shell. You get a thread and fold it so that it's folded over the label and I get the next thread and I fold the labels together and then stack the threads together and then you get this is so difficult thread number three so get the labels all together nice and neat and then on the other side the threads all nicely and neatly and then number four I usually do between four and five at a time so ah! <laughs> So, labels all nice and neat together, threads all nice and neat together. Then when I've got them, I get a hold of them, get the bag, and pop them in the bag. Then I get the rest of the threads. So there's another one, again, the same. Get the two labels, so they're stacked nicely, and get the two threads, so they flow nicely. I don't understand why you find this so difficult, Shell, honestly. My children can do this, you know this, yeah? There you go. Yes. Now and again, my children help me with packing threads. And um, my daughter especially, who's 11, Shell, can do it. So, I hope you're feeling ashamed. Then, in they go. And you get them so nicely lined up. And then you just close it. So that's how you pack them. Well, that's how I pack them. Um, it's not witchcraft. As you can see, it's fairly simple. I suppose, with, as with anything, it's just knowing how. So, for the winners, uh, you're getting all excited. Um, I said that I would have this open on YouTube and Instagram, which I did. And I also said that if we got to 500 followers on Instagram, because I was really close, that I would pick two winners. And that if we got to 600 followers on Instagram or 250 subscribers on here, I would pick three. Well, we got to 500 followers on Instagram, but we didn't hit the others. So there are two winners. And Alex picked them out for me this morning. I wrote every single one down so that I don't like random.org. I don't think it works properly. Um, and I put a little Y just for a YouTube comment and a little I for an Instagram comment. So I knew um, where to find the winners and as luck would have it we have one from each so the youtube is ooh, ooh, snow bunny four two uh, four two six sorry it's backwards does that mean it's gonna be backwards for you as well oh dear but it's snow bunny four two six S-N-O-B-U-N-N-I. I have no idea who that is, so you're going to have to get back to me. And the Instagram winner is... Delcat89. As you can see, there's an I and the other one had a Y. D-E-L-C-A-T-89. And again, no idea who that is, so they're going to have to get back to me. So what you need to do is, if your name is one of those names, I would like you to email me, please, at joderedesigns at gmail dot com not dot co uk do dot com uh, uk one will get sent back to you and um, I will sort out your prizes with you from there so I'll be back again in a few weeks maybe a bit sooner with the December one because of the posting dates so that if you want it you can order it early enough and um, I will be back with that when I've figured it out bye